All right, Shockmaster so fans, another review from my previous channel. This is Laura, or Lori, also known as Forever Emmanuel. Let's check it out. So that's Laura, and that's Nicola, a photographer. What? They don't know each other. Where you go? Yet. To the left. I go lips. One seat. Sit down. They decide to share the one Here. seat. And yeah, I could see why he would want that. This is Nicola. Professor Gualke Morgan, his wife Natalie, and me. I meet some other people on the bus that today, Laura. Laura knows. In your hands. In my hands. So this is a discussion about the Mara tribe somewhere in the Philippines. Not even their husbands and wives. These men, women and children who lose all trace of memory, call themselves while this is happening, a woman is playing footsie with under the table, only it's not with their feet. And it's not with feet to feet. Well, Laura doesn't like to wear underwear, and uh... Again, he likes that she doesn't wear underwear. What's wrong, Nicola? I'm not so sure I like your skirt. It's too long. Why are you hiding your legs today? Is that like you? So she takes it off, and I can't show you much more. Later on, they make out, and they're probably going to consummate this relationship. I am jealous. Why? Because I took Nicholas away from you? Oh, you mean what's here to Nicholas? Well, no. We're just good friends. In real life, the actor and actress were uh, boyfriend-girlfriend. But Laura lives a pretty hedonistic lifestyle, and Nicola doesn't seem to mind. I should ask. Do you mind if I pet with her? Yes, of course I do. Uh, you do. I mind with pleasure everything that gives love happiness. You take a helicopter ride with a transsexual. I do hope you're not in a hurry, Law. I have to make a little detour. I have to pick up a friend. Oh, Lobster. Hmm, precisely. The back here. They gotta pick up Milagros. Jump in. I'll take you to my place. Let's get out of here. May I introduce my girlfriend, Milagros? Here's Milagros licking a flower. I think it's supposed to be erotic, but I'm not sure why. So Nicola filmed Laura with two guys. I think one of the guys was him. And then they watched this film that he made. Um, some night. Do you, Laura, take this young man, Nicholas Hardy, as your lawful wedded husband? I do. And do you, Nicholas Murray, take this young lady, Laura Olson, as your lawfully wedded wife. I do. <laughs> I don't know if this is their honeymoon or what. This is number seven. Thank you. And this is yours. You want to share my room with me? Why not? Well, how about that? That's Emmanuel Arson, the brunette there. She allegedly wrote the original... Hey. Book, Emmanuel. Could I have two calamansi juice today? Yeah. So they've eventually uh, basically swapped. Tell me the truth, Ned. Are you sure it doesn't bother you if I don't make love with you? It doesn't bother me, Nicholas. Gualtier has talked enough about you. I know what to say. So they hear their partners in the next room getting it on. Us. It's not a question of freedom. It's a question of love. Love is a 
word which designates a very simple relationship. What pleases law pleases me. <laughs> I imagine myself in the body of the woman I love, and I take pleasure in what gives her pleasure. So they arrive in the jungle to try to find this elusive Mara tribe. She can't keep her clothes on. But why not? I don't like it. I were my friend, I always had the suspicion that you have never taken part in the feast of the birth of the new son. I took pictures They were fakes. You made a fool out of old man Olsen. You know, it's strange. I have a feeling I've already seen these faces somewhere. Deeper and deeper into the jungle they go. And these two get it on. The Mara have some sort of thing where they begin life anew. My name's The world is filled with Imagine us tomorrow morning. We won't remember what we came here for. We won't know what we're supposed to report on. Report to who? To civilization? Hello? So are they going to join the Mara tribe? Listen. We love the Mara. So I've decided we're going to leave them alone. We are not going to bring our obsessions to those innocent people as a New Year's gift. The Mara not only want to forget, they also want to be forgotten. If they hang around for some massive ritual... And Laura basically lets herself be taken. I think she's going to be a full-fledged member of the Mara drive now. The next day she wakes up, covered in silver paint. I guess she's a member now with a new life. And that's how our film ends. We are all born into bondage. To break our chains in our new beginnings. We shall forever have to ask ourselves, what shall I do? All right, let's talk about this movie, Lar, uh, also known as Forever Emmanuel. Uh, I don't know, you know how to really describe this movie. Um, we had this woman uh, named Lore. Uh, I don't even know where the word Emmanuel comes from in this one, but her name is Lore. Um, she's this free spirit. Her dad works at some institute in Manila or something like that, and he wants to study the the Mara tribe, some tribe in the jungle somewhere. Um, Meanwhile, forgetting that, she goes and starts hanging around town with this guy named Nicola, who's a photographer. Nicola's infatuated with her to a certain degree because she's such a free spirit that she doesn't wear underwear. Um, and she wears these very short skirts. So when she walks around in town, if the wind blows, you see her butt, you see her bush. Um, she plays tennis without underwear. <laughs> so when she jumps around, you see everything. And uh, yeah, I can see why he would be kind of infatuated with that. And he takes pictures of her doing her thing with that and uh, whatever. So anyway, eventually uh, she... Uh, he decides to go with her to look for this lost Mara tribe somewhere in the jungle. And they're with this other couple as well. And the other woman, by the way, is Emmanuel Arson, who is credited as being the original author of the original Emmanuel book, which came out in 1959, I believe. She was, uh, I guess, a part-time actress, acted in this. Although there are rumors now that maybe her husband actually wrote the book and she wrote under her, or it was put under her name, to sell, I don't know, whatever, right? but that's the rumors. But anyway, that's it. There's not a whole hell of a lot more that happens in this. Eventually, they do find the Mara tribe, and the end of the movie, it's kind of insinuated that um, she, uh, being Lore, uh, is going to become one of the members, one of the tribe members. And basically, when they go through this ritual where they just 
I don't know how to describe it. It's like they start life anew, brand new. They start over, like a born again type of thing. And that's how the movie ends. She's like naked on this slab somewhere and she's going to be born again and start life over. There you go. I don't know what more else to tell you about this movie. That's about it. Now, there's a lot of hedonistic stuff that happens in this. There's uh, free love and swingers and uh, there's a lot of nudity that goes on. Uh, Annie Bell, who plays uh, the uh, is the actress who plays Lore, um, her character in this movie is very, very, um, uh, like I said, free spirit. She'll sleep with anybody, and uh, yeah, there's just a lot of hedonistic stuff going on. Uh, I, again, I don't know. Uh, like the, the guy Nicola, by the way, who she hooks up with, is played by Al Cliver. Now, Al Cliver was in a lot of those movies back then. These types of films, I think he did some of those like zombie movies too. Uh, um, and, um, they, uh, Annie Bell and Al Cliver were actually, uh, boyfriend and girlfriend during this time. They made like four movies together, two or three of which I've reviewed, I think. But anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I've had this movie in my collection a long, long time. I had the DVD for about 20 years. Uh, this was put out by Severn, by the way, they did a good job with this one. Uh, but I had this in my movie collection. I taped this off of cable probably around 1989 or 90 or so. Um, but I'd seen it a few years earlier when I was a really young kid. Um, late at night, uh, I saw this movie and the only thing I really, really, literally the only thing I remember about this movie was the, uh, the upskirt shots when, uh, she's bouncing around and her, her butt and bush is showing, uh, which from a young impressionable mind, I really like that. So that's, that's what stuck with me. You know what? As an old perv now, I still kind of like it. So there you go. That's lore. I'll leave a link to something down below if you're looking for this movie. The movie itself, uh, it's not really that great. It's a little slow, um, but there's enough nudity to keep you going. So we'll just leave it at that. Check it out. Forever Emmanuel. Watch it. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments. Bye.